said, I thought I would um, share my little garden update with you today. Uh, a lot of stuff growing here. Been harvesting a lot of stuff, herbs and different things. Got some seed coming from the uh, pot choy. If you can see them, there are the little pods here. I'll take those seeds and um, use them probably in about August to to um, well probably in July start seed for uh, the fall harvest. Some strawberries been harvesting quite a bit of those. These are ever bearing so get a constant supply of those. As you can see I'm coming on different little spots. Um, lots of microgreens and lavender. Sweet potato back here has come up and uh, those leaves are really good. Uh, you can eat them like green. Um, Sauté on a little olive oil or avocado oil. Got the um, Japanese uh, eggplant coming up back here. Got the African um, marigolds popping out there. Still uh, waiting on some dwarf pomegranates. But a lot of different things going on here. I've been harvesting this kale. It's blue kale, Russian kale, purple kale. Making nice dishes out of those. Lots of blueberries. I've harvested a lot of those. Kids have pretty much emptied this bush. Lots of bee balm. I don't know if you can see. There's one there. That one's red. Lots of them hiding, hiding behind them. leaves and stuff. But got quite a few there. American eggplant. I haven't seen any of my ginger sprout yet, but got some uh, zucchini squash. I don't know if you can see that one. There's one down at the bottom. There are two. Thick. They're all coming up. I've been self pollinating uh, my cucumbers and stuff because I want to make sure that they get pollinated. So lot of melon here and okra is doing good it's coming up quite a few of them here that's the okra, okra and the cucumbers here a lot of good stuff i mean they're just getting huge that's some pop choy over there and i just cut that back and it just grows right back up uh, some uh, kohlrabi. This tomato plant has been very productive. You just come out here daily and pick, pick from it. Lots of tomatoes. Have you ever fried some green tomatoes with it? Lots of green beans. Let me see if I can show it to you. Here, so. There's some on that one. Did you see those green beans? Got a lot of that coming up. Um, lots of peppers. I don't know if you can see them because they're green too, but if you look really hard, you can see them. Uh, no habanero yet. Um, that's a lemon boy tomato back there. It's producing a lot of the purple kale different things. Tomatillos growing pretty good. I lost one. I did plant four. Um, had uh, something happen with the root system on one of the plants. But a lot of, a lot of um, collards. I've been harvesting those. I don't know if you can tell, but really good stuff peppers and tomato back there. 
Look at Downing of the Cherry Tomatoes. Those are grape tomatoes. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, those are cherries over there. And I've got a green bean that has wrapped around the cage there. I'm out of some squash over there in the corner. And got a Marconi. I don't know if you can see that bell pepper right there. That's a Marconi uh, bell. Good for Italian dishes. But And then lots of tomatoes coming up in the back here. So some okra, okra down there but yeah everything is um looking good out here just um got my noon here because um has some squash bugs i had a couple of my squash plants uh planted just for sacrificial purposes they uh Managed to eat them up, so and then I got this uh, yellow cherry tomato here. I don't know if you can see those, but they're coming up. Lemongrass and chive in here with it, and lots of celery, lots of celery. Um, Kevin likes to come and pick off and put put it in his um, smoothies and his his drinks. I got him a juicer for Father's Day. And so he's been going crazy with that. So yeah. Good amount of flowers and stuff. And so it's been looking good. I got um, a lot of cucumber over here and melons and different other things. Green beans. More green beans over here. I don't know if you can see them. They hide and hiding underneath stuff there's a there's a cucumber they're hiding um all under these uh leaf patches you have to look real good to see them crenshaw melons and some different things back here that are flourishing pear tomato right here a lot of tomatoes. I'm looking to do some salsa. So my beef steak tomato is producing really well. Now you can see these babies fried green tomatoes. Here we come. So lots of that. A lot of them coming up. Got a um. Got some suckers I need to get a hold of. But overall, the plant is doing really well. No, no diseases or anything. I just harvested um, this kale today and actually cooked a dish with it. So a lot of stuff coming up in here. Um, melon patch is doing good. No melons yet, but let's see, it's getting there. Lots of melons. So snakes like to get on there. And do some stuff, but yeah, guys, still coming up in here, corn and squashing different things in there. But um, planting some elderberry, and it's doing pretty good. She's coming on up. I don't know if you can see her because it looks like a weed, but that's it there. Okay, and these are sunflowers are getting humongous so they're doing good i think they're doing all right Some beautiful blooms here these guys are starting to bloom Eleven. Look at those guys there yeah so um my peach tree was overbearing and <laughs> They had to thin some of this stuff down. I don't know if you can see them because they're so green, but there's a good bunch. You want to thin, thin them out to about four or five inches, but kind of try to let it naturally do some stuff. And then, um, yeah, a lot, lot of them. 
still on there waiting to can can these peaches preserve them i just want to show you and my thing here got some uh lots of berries we've been kids have really been tearing these berries up i don't know if you can see them but a lot of um, blackberries coming on yeah so a little update there it was some summer fish are still alive and uh yeah still on yeah so yeah that's my little uh garden update check out later